Should I make a part two?
Okay, time to tackle the pallets. I got three large bins of pallets. They're not organized at all, but we're about to change that. We're gonna make it super organized. I really didn't even know where to begin, but I have all this new pallet storage, so I was really excited. Now, each drawer is gonna be a different brand. These are the wide and short Alex drawers. So I have the tall, thin ones, and now I have the long, wide ones. And I'm just going through these bins of pallets and organizing them the best I can by brand. It really was looking pretty good. It looked pretty neat. All the pallets look super aesthetically pleasing next to each other, especially because they're in the same brand category. This ColourPop drawer, oh my gosh. I had a P. Louise drawer. Of course, my Michaela X Glam Light palette in the Glam Light drawer. This is gonna be so much better than what I had before when it comes to picking out a palette. Look at this ColourPop drawer. Go to part two. Hi babe, so after months of putting it off, I decided today was the day that I finally needed to organize all of my makeup drawers because as you can see, they needed it. I started by building my new dividers and then taking all of the makeup out of the drawers and popping it onto my bed. There ended up being way more than I expected. You know, people think I'm obsessed with this and it's fine because I am. Anyway, then I got to work and the first drawer I was doing was primers. After this, I moved on to doing all of my foundations in the next drawer down. When I was planning this, I kind of wanted to keep my drawers kind of in the order that I would do my makeup. So next up, I did concealer and bases and then I moved on to bronzers, blushes and powders. I put all these together into two or three drawers. Then that went completely out the window because next I did colored bases. Then I did all of my eyeshadows and loose pigment. The next one was a little bit messy, but it kind of consisted of liners and brow products. Then I went back down to the color bases drawer and because I had so much space, I popped my mascaras in there too. After this, I did all of my face parts and then moved on to my singular and liquid highlighters. I did setting sprays and some leftover primers and then after this, it kind of got a little bit crazy because I started to get really tired. Apologies that the clips aren't the best, but here are my lip glosses and lipsticks. Then I did my smaller palettes and organized all of my lashes. Next up was top up skincare, then all of my hair stuff and finally my vanity. Cassetto numero 3. Qui metterò tutte le cose per la base. In fondo ci metto loro che sono tutti i fondi e cifre compatte. Palette illuminanti. Altra palette illuminanti. Ed altri illuminanti. Palette per contouring in crema. Contour in polvere. Contour in polvere. Contour in crema. Alcuni blush in polvere. Un altro blush in polvere. Blush, 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 blush. Una terra, un illuminante corpo. Avevo dimenticato questa parte del contour. Qua. Illuminante liquido. Qui ci metto la cipria. Qui un fondotinta. Un altro fondotinta. 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 Correttore. Correttore. Parte 4.